Equifax is actually making money off the breach. So while 145 million Americans around this country will have to worry about identity theft for the rest of their lives, their, their social security numbers will be out there, their birthdays will be out there, their phone numbers will be out there, their home addresses will be out there. What Equifax is doing is actually making money. They sell a product that they've offered for one year for free, but after that, it has to be renewed. And if just one in seven of the people who've taken up the offer for free protection renew for just one year, that's $200 million more for Equifax. When you look at other companies that are offering credit protection services, it turns out they go through Equifax. So every time someone goes to LifeLock, Equifax is making some money off that. And Equifax sells information to both businesses and to the government in order to deal with identity theft. And since identity theft is a lot more likely right now, Equifax makes more money. That is a company that is broken. That is a market that is broken. Here's the way to understand it right now. As a consumer, you can't decide who gets access to your data. If you think Equifax did a really lousy job, you can't say, hey, I'm taking my business somewhere else because you never authorized the collection of your data to begin with. And even if Equifax says, oh, we'll put some kind of freeze on your data, the other two credit reporting agencies don't have to do that. And that means thieves can go out and open credit cards in your name or uh, uh, take out other loans in your name, buy products in your name. And as long as it's run through one of the other agencies, you're still at risk. What we need here is a different kind of market. First, we need consumers to own their own data. We need a world where the consumer decides who gets access to the data and who doesn't get access to the data. And part two on this, we need to have real, meaningful accountability for executives. When a breach occurs on their watch, there needs to be some personal accountability. Otherwise, they're just not going to have the incentives to run the company the right way. And third, we need real penalties imposed on companies when they leave data so that it gets stolen. You know, keep in mind here on data theft, we went back and ran the numbers on earlier cases where there's been data theft, and it turns out that the recovery per consumer is less than $2 a piece. So this is a, a, a whole industry right now where the incentives are in the wrong place. The incentives are to collect as much data about people as possible and then pump it out for sale to as many companies, as many businesses as possible. What kind we of need to change that.